Hi, Hopefuls. I'm going to make a really quick video. I'm going to put these small Aldi hauls, even though some of them are old, and I apologize that I didn't get them out sooner, but I'm going to clip them all together, and I'm going to put them in order as from newest to oldest. So my apologies, y'all. I didn't realize that I didn't even upload some of them. Um, but anyway, some of you guys said you still want to see them anyway. So today is the day before Thanksgiving and, um, I'm trying to see if I hear Saya cause I got some stuff for him. Let me show you that stuff first y'all. So straight out of the bag so I can cover it up. I didn't plan on getting this one, but you guys know that this is, um, usually expensive. So I think it was $16.99. So I went ahead and got it. They have three other ones, ice cream truck and I think a hair salon. And then, but this was the main one I was trying to get there for, even though it says seven plus and seven plus and Josiah is six. Um, this is the Minecraft one and they had Star Wars, but since I got this one, I didn't get the Star Wars one. And I think I got him a Star Wars one, if I'm not mistaken, from Amazon. I think so, I have to go look and see. And then I thought this was cute. Um, the three piece bath set, he loves Minecraft. And I was confused at first. And I was like, what is this? And I was like, oh, that's a washcloth. <laughs> because I first saw the hooded towels. And I was like, okay, you have to read the boxes at Aldi. Because you get confused. Like, how many? Or what's, what is the assortment? So I got this one, the hooded towel. And they had other ones too, y'all. I can't remember. But just like if you're new to Aldi, make sure you check their ad. Now you can check the ad for the previous week not previous, the next week, and check to see what they have because I know in my store, the stuff is getting pop. You're not popular, but more people are finding out about it. And it was this lady, she was just all in the way with the decor and stuff with her kids and everything, which I understand. But I was just like, lady, she was calling everybody and seeing what they wanted. Because if you don't get there, it'll be get gone. And I was talking to the manager and she said that the week that they had the flock trees, the little mini trees, which I didn't need any because I got some from Walmart, but I was contemplating. She was saying it was going so fast. As soon as they put it out, it was gone, going fast. So I got the men's two-pack lounge pants. They probably have the most lounge and pajama pants. And I was trying to debate if I was going to get these for Jason or not because um, – I think he, yeah, he would wear XL according to this size here, but I wasn't sure. So I just got these for JJ, and I probably should have got some for Trail, though. So these are $12.99. I may, if they have some when I go back, I may get um, Trail some, but I we're not really going anywhere. Well, Trail goes to work. So I just got them a lot of PJs and a lot of lounge clothes. Hey, y'all, so I got two of these signs. I got the Farm Fresh Christmas Trees. Um, it is a reversible sign. Most of the signs this year, I had missed out on. So when I get there, they're picked over. But they still had plenty. It was around 9 something, almost 10. So home is where we are together. So I guess one side is for Thanksgiving or fall Thanksgiving, even though this one here it says we gather here with grateful hearts. So it says gather together with grateful hearts, even though this year we always will gather together. But, and also in spirit, but we know we can't really gather this year. So, Mary and Bright, I just couldn't choose. I just couldn't choose. Um, I like the idea of having fall on one side or everyday sign on one side. Yeah. And Christmas on the other. So, you don't have to put it up. But, I would like to have this one and the other one. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Because I like this one, but I don't want Buffalo Check forever. But I like the car, but I don't want, I don't know, y'all. Anyway, they were six, six or $7.99, y'all. I needed a heater. I have one in my craft room. But down here, I get a little chilly. And I think that's only because of, um, because of my iron sometimes. So when I'm just sitting here, and I don't have to turn the air, because I will turn the heat on blast. And my fireplace blows out heat, but it's not right on you that makes sense y'all because you know you can move these around so anyway this was $29.99 and they had plenty well they were getting low but they had plenty okay y'all so i realized when i went to sam yesterday that i did not get any silverware plastic i did get some from dollar tree 
but when they come back, I only got enough for like if they ate one time. So if they come back for dessert or eat another time, another day, they will have to use up all the silverware. Most of the time I don't worry about plastic um, cutlery and stuff, but I'm like, I wanna make this easy as possible. So I got some cups. I ordered on Instacart last night. Um, I didn't see where Sam's had phone cups, but I remember Miss Risa Richardson, you guys watch her channel, I love her channel. She, um, long time ago, she went to Sam's, I think, and got some foam cups. It might've been Costco, but I think it was Sam's. So I really didn't look down that aisle, and I should have, but anyway, I got an Instacart order for BJ's so I could get some cups. I need some Nilla wafers. I think she's gonna bring, and I canceled my order for the cutlery, because when I saw in the flyer, when I did, when I looked before I left, I was like six, no, 192 for $6.99 when, of course, Instacart is higher. It was $12 or $13 for $160. I was like, oh no, let me cancel that. So um, some of my knives did fall out, so I'm just gonna wash them off there in this bag over here and straighten this up and I'm gonna put them right back in there. They fell out at home, so. Um, I got Jason some cookies, I'm gonna put them up. He ain't gonna know I got them. Cause then he, he yeah. You know how when you got sweet heads in your house and they just love sweets, but I just wanted him to have it in case the store's closed. But I'm gonna lock it up so when he asks me, and I'm gonna be like, oh, boo, you got some? Or he'll say, I wish I had <laughs> some cookies. Okay, y'all, so I got this mat. I was contemplating if I was gonna get the doormat, but the thing about those doormats, you have to throw them away. And I think I have some in the garage. One, if you use them, I mean, you can put them up and clean them, but those um, ones that look like a broom, I don't know what you call them. Most of the time you end up throwing those away. So I got this one that says Merry and Bright. The one with the little truck that said Merry Christmas. I think it was another black and white one. It was really cute. So I was just gonna put this one here. This is a accent rug though, $6.99. And I'm gonna put this in the kitchen. So I only got one. I really wanted to get two for right here and right there, but I need my little fatigue mat. So I guess I can put this over the fatigue mat. I didn't even think about that, but I think one is enough. One is enough. Okay, then I have been really waiting for these because this is a great price they usually have every year. I should have got some wrapping paper, but the gift boxes, they have three different designs, I believe. You can see them on the app or online. And these are $4.99. So you get a total of 10 holiday boxes. And I really um, also wanted the gift bags, but I didn't want these here. So do you guys have another reason why you use the, what are they called, the wine bags? I guess you can put something in a tall, but... I don't know. I wish they leave those out. But anyway, you get these 10 holiday gift bags and they have three different designs for $4.99. And is that it? Yeah, that's it. That's it, y'all. So I'm gonna piece this together with other hauls. It'll probably be after Thanksgiving. But um, thanks so much for watching. I hope you had a great holiday. Bye-bye. Hi, Hopefuls. Thanks so much for coming back to the channel. Today, I just have a real small hodgepodge of a haul from Aldi. I was gonna go to Walmart, but I ended up just going to Aldi. I was crossing my fingers, hoping they still had the advent calendars, but that was two weeks ago. Um, yeah, the week before last. So I was just hoping, but I should have known because they were grabbing them so fast. So I'm hoping I can find a really good advent calendar for Josiah somewhere this year. So this is a little top off, um, some preps, some things that we I opened. And so I wanted to replace it and then to get um, something to eat for today. And then um, some fresh stuff and let's see. Oh, and these pans. So let's go over everything. So I love all these um, banana nut muffins. They're $2.95. I love, love, love them. They're so good and they're moist. I got three of the split top wheat bread and they were 55 cents each. They didn't have any, they had one honey wheat bread and it was smashed. So I just went ahead and got these. That was one of the reasons why I had to go to the store. I was looking at that keto bread cause I always forget 
I don't know if they have a low carb bread and keto or if it's the same thing. Um, bread. I know they have a low carb tortilla. So that bread was three ninety five, and I did scan on my WW how many points it was. This bread is two points for one slice. The keto bread was one point for one slice. So I was like, well, for the price, I'll try that another day. I'll just see. But I think they just put it out because it was frozen. I got Jason some of these cookies, and he did find them in the trunk. <laughs> so he was asking for the keys for the trunk, I think, to just see what was in it. And he saw them. His favorite um, of these vanilla, vanilla sandwich cookies are from the ones from Aldi. So before he gets home, I'm going to put these in the trunk because Josiah, he turned Josiah into a cookie monster too, and he loves these. So Jason has been eating those sparingly, but I'm going to hide them. So, you know, for a rainy day. He said, this is a rainy day. I said, okay. Okay, y'all. So I got the cookie sheet. I get these almost every year or every other year. So I needed some really bad and they kind of changed the look of them this year they have this silicone um like candle here and then i'm going to toss the ones that i need to toss sometimes i use them so much that i was getting two at a time but this time i just got one pack i got some ranch tortillas because i just opened up a bag and sasa loves these they already done went through that not whole variety pack from sam's but they they went through certain ones so i think i'm going to go ahead and just order i saw last night i can order it online and then come to the house um just trying to stay on top of my prep so like if we run if we already opened something i'm gonna go ahead and pick up another one or go ahead and um yeah purchase another one so like i opened up some pickles the other day and i want to go ahead and um, pick up another one um, they also went through the is it I can't think of the name is it Lay's whatever name brand of these chips is it Ridges um, anyway I went ahead and picked up the Aldi brand because they already went through that too that was in that variety pack these are 119 I got some marinara I don't pick this up a lot and I got this to go with the cheesy bread sticks but if I use this or either the pizza sauce, if I use this, I'm going to doctor it up. I'm putting a saucepan and put some more seasonings with it. I got the whip dressing. I was contemplating if I should get this or if I should get the Miracle Whip. So Mama D, my mother-in-law, told me how to make the Spam pasta salad that I mentioned a while ago. <laughs> so I finally got it from her. And it calls for salad dressing, mayo, and the California French style dressing. So I have to, so I picked up two of these. And I'm sometimes when I'm making a recipe for the first time, I'm really particular if it's name brand or not, or just, it just depends on the situation. But most time I'm not really finicky about brand names and stuff like that. I just know I may have to put my little oomph in it or something unless somebody's sick and it's medicine it, that's just me so yeah but i will buy off-brand medicine too it just depends on how sick i don't know y'all um but i'm not too 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 particular about name brands okay so um i got some baby spinach to make some more smoothie um packs so i'm gonna make those up i still have some left because i've been skipping days but i should be having one every day I just opened up another relish, so I wanted to get another one. I probably should have got two of these. And I definitely need to purchase more tuna fish. So I've been really lazy at cook at um, recording the what's for dinners. But we had tuna fish the other night, and usually, I don't even think Trail was here. I went through six cans. No, Trail was here. He just didn't eat that that night i think anyway i went through six cans of tuna fish so usually i cook a lot and i was like you know what hope you don't have enough tuna you don't have enough tuna so i need to get, order some more get some um some spicy brown mustard from sam's spicy brown mustard i was having a sausage dog and i just like i just need a little more um a little bit more kick um to the sausage dog because they're mild sausages they're not the hot jj and i like the hot Okay, so I got the homestyle lemonade. I just wanted some lemonade. Two of the California French style dressings. 
I had to call my mother in the store because I was like, is it the creamy or is it the, the dark red one? And then I got one of these because Jason has been going through the salad dress. Oh, I forgot to get him a salad mix. Yeah, I forgot to get him a, the big thing of salad mix like this. Um, I got the Take and Bake Cheesy Breadsticks. I haven't tried this before and I really bought this for myself. I don't really think I want any pizza. And so I'm just gonna like add some extra seasonings on top of this. And then I got them some ramen. I was just trying to think, I had a list, but what did I need to add more to my preps? And this is a limit of two in Aldi. So I definitely don't wanna wait till when everybody else gets it. And then there isn't any in my boys, they eat, they eat them. Um, Cause I don't have as much. I've been watching other hauls and I'm like, good gracious, y'all, y'all have a lot. So I need to get a little bit more. Um, cause I, you know how you think you got a lot and you don't. I got some milk. I got this take and bake. I was going to go to Little Caesars and I was like, no, I'm just going to, um, pick this up because today was a long day. Anyway, this is a sausage and pepperoni extra large pizza. I think this is $4.99. $4.99 and then this one I think is $5.99. This is the Mega Meat. So, um, surprisingly, back in I know in the summer last year when I was doing Instacart a whole lot, um, a lot of people asked for these pieces on Friday or you were going there in there on a Friday and they do not have any pieces. So, um, I guess times have changed. Okay, so then I got two bags of the Caesar salad. This was $2.29. And they look really fresh because they had one that wasn't quite as fresh. But I should have gotten at least two more bags. They're so much smaller than all of them. So I may eat one of these and some cheese sticks and let them eat pizza. So that's it for this haul, I think. Yeah. All right, y'all. Bye. Okay, guys. So to finish up this little haul, I went to Aldi. I had several stops today. And... um. I got some celery. I'm going to cut out, cut up some more, but I realized I don't have any vacuum seal bags. They are all gone. So I can't use my freezer bags. So I think I'm going to just get some vacuum seal bags anyway. Um, I got some more onions. Um, if I go back to Sam's, I may get some bell pepper, but I don't use bell pepper a whole lot other than um, for spaghetti sometimes and for um when i make like hash browns is it hash browns or omelet i love to have green peppers okay so i got some more of the tomato sauce so i have a rolling y'all this is non-stop because i have a consistent rolling list so this is like filling the gaps and then also stuff that we already used and so I think they took the limit off at my store. I don't see any anymore. And I just want to get more and more. But I'm like, I hope. Um, where are you going to put this at? But uh, there are a couple more places. And of course, people say under the bed and stuff like that. I can do. So um, some tomato sauce. I really can make room. I just don't want it. I don't want it a certain way. So two tomato sauce cans I got. I got three of the sweet cream corn. And I should have got more corn, but I mainly got this like if I want to make it with cornbread or something like that. Um, I got another jelly. I should have got two because I have on my list to get two and some peanut butter, but I didn't get it. So I may make another trip. Some double chocolate muffin quick mix. I think I was just hungry when I got that. I consistently have to pick this up even though I just ordered some. And let's see, some rolled oats. You'll probably be good on this. You can make granola bars. Um, some people may put in their oatmeal. Um, not oatmeal, but their meatloaf. But what was I thinking about? Oh, cookies. So. Then, I think everything else is seasonal. So, I wanted to get this Sloppy Joe seasoning mix. And I got three of these. This was a special by this week. They were 49 cents. And then, I had to do this video later, y'all. That's <laughs> my little monitor to tell just how to go to bed. Um, I don't know how you pronounce this, but I wanted to try this. And I meant to get two more. So, I went to Aldi earlier this morning. And then, I got the wrong 
grinder mix. I got two of the same ones and I don't know how that happened. And so I had to go back out anyway. And I got, oh, the boys. That's the main reason why I went to get the boys um, pizza for, um, for, Friday, for Saturday, Saturday night. So anyway, I want to try this and I meant to get another two pack. And then I never try their meatloaf seasoning. I'm a snob when it comes to meatloaf seasoning. I have tried, I think Walmart has a brand, but I love McCormick. But I thought I'll try it for 49 cents. So this is in the food seasonal section, y'all. Then the Italian herbs, this was $2.99. And for some reason I picked up two of these. I don't know what I was doing, probably looking at I don't know what I pick stuff up. I look at the bottle. I look at the label to see if it's looking janky. I look at everything. So anyway, how long does this last? Two. Okay, July 2022. Okay, so Italian herbs grinder. So I went back because I didn't want them to all be gone, even though the food usually stays there longer. But the garlic herb grinder. And then... The Himalayan pink salt with thyme and rosemary. And that's what got me with this because I have a grinder, several, with pink Himalayan salt. But I wanted to get, get it with thyme and rosemary. Tomorrow I may make some wings. Well, I already took some wings out. Some wings, some Parmesan garlic. I love this when I go to Buffalo Wild Wings. I think it's Buffalo Wild Wings. And then Jason and them love honey barbecue. Well, Jason loves this. All of them love it, but if the boys had to choose, the boys would get buffalo. But Jason don't care for that. Anyway, y'all, so this is it for this little haul. I probably will go ahead and add this to something else. All of these last to 2023. So that is awesome. So adding these to my collection of seasons. I'm, I love seasonings. Love, love, love seasonings. <laughs>